Oh my goodness, I'm not sure what happened that time. What went on? What did YouTube do to me? It took me down, you guys. Okay, I'll calm down a little bit. Maybe I'm being a little bit too loose. Hey, but you guys didn't see that. I will post that clip because I did record it back in the scenes. So it, they took it down on YouTube, but I do have it recorded here in the studio. So I'll just put these two areas, these two clips together later on. But for those of you that are live right now, I apologize. Please like, share, send with your friends. We're back here talking about how you can quit your job, leave America, and survive, you guys. We're talking all about that. So if you guys missed all that fabulous intro, oh, my Lord. I am sorry about that, but you guys, you, you know how it is, you guys. So again, today, you guys, we're back. We're here live. I'm going to go ahead and give you my intro again so you guys know who this is. Cream Jackson live on the set. Minimalist CEO, Real Shit Podcast, you guys. We are talking to everybody, having a good time. I want to give you guys my insights on this. So that is what we are talking about. But you guys, glad you're here. Without no further ado, welcome to the show. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube um, channel. We are actually here live on YouTube seeing what's going on. Glad you guys are here. Fantastic for you. I'm so glad you're here. We want to go through real quick and we're going to showcase one of our sponsors, you guys. YouTube blocked us off, so we don't know what happened, but you are live on the set again. We are back. Go ahead and share this. Share with your friends. Tell them we're back. We're talking about quit your job, leave America, and survive today, you guys. I'm Minima CEO, Real Shit Podcast, you guys. YouTube blocked us out. I'm not sure what happened before, but now we're back. So you can touch base with that. You can see how things are. I'm so glad you are here. If you guys are hearing anything, let me know. You can chime in. But we have a fantastic sponsor that we want to talk to, and it might be a little inspiring for you. Because if you guys are sick of your job, sick of the crap that you're going through, sick of what's going on, then you guys know that you need to exit. You need to get out there. You need to be free. And it isn't just for black folks. You know, actually, it's more for black folks because they're the ones having the issues right now on, you know, Black Lives Matter. But in the, the day, all people got issues. So if you've got issues and you want to say, fuck you, I want to leave my job and quit and leave America for a while, take a hiatus and you want to survive just like I did a decade ago, then this is going to be the show for you. But real quick, you guys check out our sponsor and we'll be right back.
Hey, you guys, Krim Jackson, you are live on the set, and I'm going to take you around the world with me. Live my dream as a minimalist CEO. Turning my clients' dreams into reality is what I do, showing that success is truly, truly for everyone. Hey, you guys, I've got new shows weekly. Stay tuned and live your best life. Best life. Best life. Best life. Welcome back, you guys. We are live here again. We are on YouTube for the first time. We are trying this out. If you guys are out there, let us know what you think about this. How do you feel about it? How is it to you? Um, if you guys are usually used to seeing us on Facebook or on our website, um, then let us know about that as well because we are curious if you guys like this. Usually we record these and we edit them and then we upload them to YouTube. Um, they're live shown on our website, cremantonio.com. Of course, our podcast as well. Um, but usually we don't do that on YouTube. We should be show the prelim, but we've been trying this. We're trying it out to see how it is, but it looks like it's a little bit difficult, y'all. So let's see. Anyway, let's see how it goes. So first of all, you guys, welcome to the show. Krim Jackson live on the set. Hope you are doing fantastic. We we're talking about how you can quit your job, leave America, go on a hiatus, and you can survive, you guys. So if you guys are looking at live um, on, on YouTube or on, on, on Facebook, if you guys are on Anchor, Spotify, if you guys are on Stitcher, Google Podcasts, iTunes, or Apple Podcasts, Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. We love you guys very much. And you guys, we wouldn't be here without sponsors. So without any further ado, you guys, I want to get to this. Let's go to number one, you guys. Number one, you guys, you got to make sure that you pop up and you actually choose what lifestyle that you want. The first step out there to getting free, you guys, is before you even think about quitting your job and all that kind of crap, if you want to quit your job or you want to stay everything the same, but just have a new job, that's one thing. But me, myself, I wanted to quit my, my job. I wanted to outsource my business, and I wanted to live the lifestyle of leisure. I wanted to be on a, on a hammock next to the beach. I wanted to be in the tropics. I wanted to travel. I wanted to free free, and I wanted to be able to actually work less, you guys. Like if you retire and you get old, they usually move somewhere like Florida or somewhere like that or abroad because the cost of living is cheaper and their money goes further. And I thought, well, why not do that right now? So the first thing you need to do, you guys, when you want to decide to quit your job, leave America, and you want to survive doing it, you need to really think about what lifestyle do you want. I recommend a lifestyle, you guys, that is all about relaxing and leisure and, and enjoying life and being simple. That's where the minimalist CEO comes into, is that I'm not just a CEO or a minimalist like these regular minimalists where they just have some interior design. It actually costs them maybe more to get the interior design and buy all these books and and all that kind of crap than it does to actually be a minimalist. I wanted to be a minimalist to where if I didn't need all the crap in the company or all that staff or all, that, if I didn't need that space and the air conditioner, if I didn't need all that, I want to be able to say, okay, I don't want to need all that. I don't want to have that. So if that's you, you guys, you can chime in and let me know how you think. If you guys are still looking live, if you're looking on the playback, you can message me at asicromantonio.com. But the first thing you guys, figure out what damn lifestyle you want. Figure out what you want to be. Figure out who you want to be, how you want to do that person. That is a huge decision because typically, usually when you're not happy with your job or you don't want to work, you're not happy with your job, you don't want to work because you don't like your lifestyle. And usually for Americans, this is a big, big flaw of ours. We, did, we think that more success means more shit. That's what it means. But the truth of it is, that's not it. If you think when you retire, you want to be next to a beach, man, you want to chill. So why don't you do all that crap from the beginning? You don't need a big house. You don't need four or five cars. You, you don't need houses everywhere. I mean, I get it. A lot of folks are showing off and maybe their investments, their tax write-offs, their, their ways to leverage and get more credit. I understand that. Their way is to hide your money, to stash it, and then you can sell the house later. I get that too. But you can also invest abroad. You can do more things than just buy stuff. You know, forget a house. You know, own shares and stocks and something. Open a company, open a school, you know, help the people. Be a social entrepreneur. But anyway, the first number one, you guys, you got to make sure what lifestyle do you want. So keep that in mind, you guys, no doubt about it. That is step number one. After you figure out what lifestyle you want, you guys, the next step, you guys, you got to make sure that you take time and you research your destination. Do not take for granted what it's all about, y'all. Please don't do it. Research your destination. Figure out where it is that you really want to go. And that comes from you knowing your lifestyle. You, you know, you, you got to, you, you can't know one thing without the other. So at the end of the day, what happens is once you figure out the lifestyle you want, then there's only certain places where you can go and you can get that lifestyle. So then you're sitting up here doing that stuff. So then you figure out, okay, I want to be on a hammock by the beach. I want to chill, you know? 
And you want to be able to like, you know, um, say, oh, wow. Oh, I chill. I love this. I love it. Oh my God. I love coconuts. I love gin. I love juice. I love being able to write my book. I love all this crap. And I'm going to say this to you real quick. If you're black folks out there listening, this is for you too. It's not just white folks doing this. Black folks can do this. You can be a party promoter all over the place. You can work in the call center all over the place. McDonald's are all over the place. So anyway, research your destination, figure out where you want to go. And not just about the beach thing now. Know where you want to go about where you want to work. Do you, or do you want to have a business? The tropics is there if you're if you had do have existing conditions that's why you're not going to work in america because you have pre-existing medical conditions if that's the case then you need to figure out okay where do they have a badass hospital i know in the philippines they have a huge hospital malls i mean these these hospitals here are phenomenal and of course your money goes further so that might be an issue for you if you want to be close to the vfw or closer to the to the um the hospital or, or the afw you know that's one thing. If you want to be able to be somewhere where they speak English, you don't want to learn the language. That's another thing. If you want to go somewhere where they really love black folks or they don't know black folks, that's one thing. If you want to go somewhere, but research all this stuff. Take time and research you guys so you know what the hell you're getting into. Take this seriously. Do not just rush into it and buy because the plane tickets, tickets cheap or whatever like that. Another thing that might help you decide is you might want to decide on that because of, okay, um, where can I do business? Meet people. You know what? I launched my company on Facebook, you guys. Facebook. My company might launch it here 10 years ago. I launched it with friends I met and we met on Facebook. Swear to God. That's how I did it. Number three, you guys, after you've done all this crap, number three, then go ahead, you guys. And with no, no further ado, you do not take this for granted. This is the biggest power of being an American or being on the West. Do not take this for granted, people. Analyze the currency conversion rate. Here in where I'm at, $1 equals 50 to 100. Okay, hell yes, yes, I said that. $1, 1,000 equals 50,000 or 100,000. And you know what? That's the way that a lot of people look at it too, especially when you're locally. Like, oh, the dollar is so big. It isn't about the dollar rate, you guys. Let me tell you that. That's part of it. Maybe that's half of it or 40% of it. The biggest part of it, otherwise, the, the, the analyze the currency conversion rate is that people think of the, the currency conversion rate as the way they think about money. It doesn't really matter, right? But in the day, that's not freaking true. What happens is, is that when you sit up and you actually go through and you analyze the currency conversion rate, when you analyze it, don't just say, oh my God, a dollar's worth 50. Okay, that's one way, that makes sense. Maybe a dollar's worth, you know, 150, you know, um, you know, a dollar fifty in Mexico, things like that. That's one way to look at it. And most people that do not really understand the power of the conversion rate, right? When they don't understand it, when they don't understand that, wow, you know, um, I can really do this, or wow, this really makes sense. They don't understand that no, why is, why does the conversion rate equal that amount? Right? Why is that? Think about it. Why does it equal that amount? Everyone says, oh, it's big, it's so big, it's so this and that. But then they, why is that? That one reason is the power that you really have, which means that when you go there as an American or a foreigner or a Westerner, the valuable kick-ass thing, you know what it is? Is that your talents are worth more. Your time is worth more. You can go there and if you figure it out, you can make more money. I told you before, McDonald's here is like a freaking five-star restaurant. Krispy Kreme is like a five-star cafe here. Freaking FUBU is right next to Gucci and Prada here. So the conversion, currency conversion, doesn't just mean what the dollar's worth. That's one way for a lazy person to do it. A lot of folks go abroad, they they take their little thousand bucks or their two thousand bucks or their salary, whatever it is, and they live cheap. That's great. That's what gets you going. But then go further and analyze the conversion rate. I just look at the conversion rate, analyze it, and understand why is it? Because maybe they pay a lot for, you know, stylists here. Maybe they pay a lot for teachers. So then your knowledge is the reason why the currency is higher. They'll just pop up and say, okay, American dollars worth this, or the British pounds worth that, or the euros worth, they don't just do that. You know, they don't just say, oh, the Australian dollar. No, they don't do that. The reason they do it is because there's something else, the people, the situation, the country. That's why they do it. That somehow is worth more. So maybe you can work less like I do. You can work a few hours a week, no big deal. You don't have to work 10,000 hours, you know, just to make a dollar. You could work a few hours a week and you can enjoy your life more. So that means, you know, you could spend more time with your kids or whatever. You know what? You could do that. Then the other part of it is that if that's the case, and you say, okay, I don't want to spend time with my kids. I don't have any kids. You know, I'm gay or I'm single or whatever. 
So then what happens is at the end of the day, okay, then you can use that to, instead of having to work that crazy job that you hate, because at the end of the day, you need to make money and that job pays the money. Instead of doing that, you might decide to go ahead and do your dream, write a book, write a song, shoot your music video, things like that. You may decide to do that too. So at the end of the day, you need to realize, okay, the conversion rate doesn't just mean the dollar equals this. The conversion rate means what do your talents, your time, your, your skin color. Being black abroad can be a privilege. That's a conversion rate, right? So anyway, look at that. Number four, you guys, no, no way you cannot do this. You need to make sure you just do this one first, actually. It should be number one, but it's hard for folks to do. I figure you got to get inspired by where you want to go. You got to see the value, the conversion rate. Then you realize, damn, look at all this crap. Look at all this crap I got. You need to shed all your shit. You guys, I got a video about this called Shed Your Shit. I really get into it. I really talk a lot about it and understand that this is one of the biggest things that keeps Americans back and Westerners back is we love a lot of shit. You're broke, but you got a closet full of Gucci's and Prada's. Even, you know, you're broke, but you got all this stuff in your house. You need to start taking everything. If you cannot fit it into two big ass luggage, then you need to start thinking about how to get rid of it. You just figure that out because in the day, that is a key component, you guys. A key component is understanding that when it comes down to it, you've got to figure out how to get rid of this crap because if it doesn't fit in two freaking luggages, it's not going to work for you. You're going to put it in storage anyway. So you might as well go ahead and get rid of it, get that crap away from you because then out of sight, out of mind. The clarity is amazing, you guys. When you shut your shit, yeah, you can make a little money at the yard sale. You might make a little money at the estate sale. You got a big ass house. You got an estate sale, right? So you're bougie. <laughs> you got money. But in the day, the biggest thing about it, the biggest stress that'll come off of your freaking brain, the biggest thing that'll make you feel so much better is to pop up and then you don't have all this crap to worry about. That's the big thing. That's the big key, you guys, is you don't want to have all this stuff. You want to be free, right? That's the whole point of it. That's why you're leaving the job to be free. So why do you want all this stuff? So in the, the day, okay, then check this out. After that, you guys, you guys have done all that. You shed all your shit or you're trying to shed all your shit. Then you know what you got to do. You got to figure out what you want to do. Do you want to be a business person? Do you want to be a freaking worker? Do you want to write a book and be on hiatus? What do you want to do? And that's a big decision because you could be working a job right now and decide, wow, I make $500 a month online um, doing this. And that's nothing in America, right? 500 bucks, you can spend that one night at Cheesecake Factory. You can spend on a pair of shoes and a, and a bag. You can spend 500 bucks, you know, that's your cell phone bill, maybe, plus some. Definitely a cable bill. You know, for most of you, 500 bucks isn't even your car payment. It's definitely not your freaking rent. But you know what? $500 abroad can be. Twenty thousand, a hundred thousand depends on where you go when you decide where you want to go, and twenty thousand, you can live somewhere for a whole month off twenty thousand. You know that, a whole month. So if that month, then you decide, well, gosh, if I can live my life off five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, doing this online, maybe you're you're helping someone, you're doing graphics, or maybe your your works that you're working will pay you a small amount if you quit just to maintain their Facebook page or their website or their appointments online, things like that. So if you can live that way, remember over here in Asia, Philippines, oh, the, the Wi-Fi is good. I'm live now on the Wi-Fi. You got Wi-Fi. So when you decide, do you want to be a business, a job, or you want to go for a hiatus? Because you might want to go for a hiatus work a job, really rethink back home to create your business, write your book, or do whatever it is. You may want to do all of the above. So number five, you guys, make sure that you do that. That's number five. You got to be serious about this. Take this stuff seriously. Don't BS yourself. You're only going to screw yourself. Don't BS yourself. Take yourself, your dream seriously. And then you know what? When you get done with this, you guys, when you figure out what the hell you want to be, and you go, okay, I want to be this. This is what I, my dream. This is my dream. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to be. When you figure all that stuff out, and then you realize, okay, you know, now that I figured it out, I know where I want to go. I know who I want to be. I know what I want to do. You know what thing you got to do? Because you got to maybe grow a little bit. You want to meet some folks, right? So you got to make sure that then you go through and you master the skills. How do you master the skills of networking and connections? You don't just be good at them. 
you master them damn skills. No doubt. You master those skills. You want to be really good at figuring out who it is you need to have in your life, who you need to work with, how you need to find partners. You need to figure this part out completely. Master the skills of networking and connections. And by networking, I mean whether you got to find a, if you have a business, you need to find a printer that's abroad or a supplier that's abroad or your graphics designer that's abroad or an editor that's abroad. Of course, that includes customers, clients, if you're trying to figure that out too. If you're trying to figure out a job, you need to find the job abroad. We need to figure that out also where you find out what's going on. So you want to make sure that you guys figure it out because networking and connections can change your life. It can change your career. In the States, a lot of times, if you don't go into business because you can't afford to do it, but if you could afford an accountant or a designer and a marketer and this and this and this and this and this, making a little bit of dollars over there abroad, you might change your mind. And I don't, I criticize you a little bit. I joked, about, I joked a little bit about you, but if you want to get products from China and import them and sell them to the States and you're already doing it, but you don't make enough money doing that to live because you live so high in the hog in the States, whether you know what, you need to figure out how to get you a sales girl, a little, a little, a little YouTuber in the States, have her marketing your crap. And then maybe you spend six months living where you're getting the crap from. And you focus on that because you know that your online store, you know your boutique could be the shit if you were there in person to make it happen. If that's the case, that might be another connection you need to make. And you might just want to make friends abroad that are just doing what you want to do. I want to meet black folks that are abroad, that are doing what I want to do. That's all I care about. That might be the case. And that's your right. You can do that. That's really important. And there's a lot of folks doing it. And it may inspire you, give you insights to understand. Because if you're listening to this CD, you're listening to this tape, you're listening to this live right now, then you're one of those folks. You want to get free. So after you get free, you guys, and I say you need to go through, and I said this before, it is a right. Please understand this is your right. Buy your passport and round trip ticket right now. Do not wait. Do not hesitate. Do not collect $200. Go take your next $150. $200 and go get you a passport and a passport ID. Do that for yourself. This is your right as an American, you guys. It is your right. Why do you think that when you get incarcerated and things happen to you that they take your right as a for a passport to vote away? Why do you think that is? Because it's freaking it's, it's freaking valuable. People all over the world wishes they could just go out and pay it a few hundred dollars, or not even a few hundred dollars, $150, and they got an American passport. Abroad, people will steal. They'll pay twenty, thirty thousand to get a stolen American passport, just to be able to show it when they go into a hotel or something like that to say I'm American. You know, especially if you're black. So, what is the reason? If you don't have a passport, you can use that as your ID. You can use it for different things. They take it. They take it. You don't need to have an ID from the, from the local government, but you need to have it, and it lasts for like four, five, six years. It's not an annual thing. So it's one hundred fifty bucks. And it lasts for a few years and you got it because when opportunity comes, remember you're networking, you're figuring out where you want to go, you're meeting people. When the opportunity comes, you want to be ready. So you want to make sure you buy your passport. And if you can, and you know where you want to go already, buy a round trip damn ticket. Don't fuck around. Buy your ticket. Give you a deadline. You can buy your ticket for six months out. But buy it. The same as you'd buy those damn Gucci's and those Prada's and all that crap. You put the down payment on that car. You go and rent those rims. Go out and buy you a ticket and a passport. Say, in six months, I'm leaving no matter what, or I'm losing my money. And you don't want to lose your money, so usually you're going to leave. You're going to take that opportunity. You're going to go figure out what it is that you can do and what you really like and what your life really can be like. That's what you're going to do. So you might as well go ahead and just put it in there. Passport is your right, man. Understand that while I'm telling you that is your right. Don't play around with that. If every black person out there that can get one doesn't have a passport right now, you are a fool, people. You see the crap that's happening. You see what they're doing to you. You see that they're trying to take your rights away. And I get the protests. I get the rioting. I get it. Yes, we need that. But you know what we also need is more black folks to realize their value. We need that too. Okay? Do that for yourself. Go out and just see what's up. Because you do not know your talents and your beauty are so wonderful abroad, maybe. You don't know, but you at least want to be able to see and check it out. 
then of course, you know, I got to push this because this is how I did it, y'all. You may not think about this. It may be something small to you, but $350, you got, we got a promo right now and you can go ahead and you can have a website for yourself or your small business. The next step to me, you guys, you need to get a website and boost your social media presence. I, I, I did it myself. I didn't know what I was going to do. Initially, my website was, I did it myself, but now there's websites you can get. That was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So now you can get websites for like 350 bucks. You got a really cute ass website, even if it's just for yourself. And you may have never sold a book, but you want to write a book. You may have never cooked for anybody, but you're a cook at your job. Whatever it is, but you got your own little website. You start marketing your social media because when you go abroad, you're gonna, you, it's a chance for you to level up. So go ahead and get simple things to help you do that. And when you get a website, you can take money and donations online. So as you do grow, it's already there. Your name is starting to get search engines. So when you get out abroad and you're saying, hey, my name is Joey Blow or my name is Kareem Jackson, you can Google that shit. You may think it's crazy and overkill, but remember now, you're going to leave. You're going to do your dream. You're going to be global. And whatever it is, even if you're teaching, you should have a website for yourself with a few lessons on it. Now, right? Now you're forced to because of the COVID damn thing. So now you got to be online and now you got to teach online. So you might as well promote it, market what you're doing. Don't just work a job every day for nothing. And you may think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, I got a website and I saw it as my resume at the time. I was outsourcing my business. I was waiting tables and I was trying to get free. I didn't know how. And I had the website mainly to keep all of my stuff on it. My pictures were there. My resume was there. Things like that. Things that I did that I knew when I traveled, I couldn't carry a freaking file cabinet. So I kind of had everything really cutely organized on my damn site. So that changed for me because eventually then it started being to where I was really doing something. So then I changed the site to what I was doing. I, you know, I was doing a magazine at the time. That I changed to this and changed to that. Now if you go to KareemAntonio.com, ThePhilippinesMagazine.com, BlueCon.ThePhilippinesMagazine.com, philippinesinc.com, you guys, and I've got another 50 freaking sites. But it started with that one site that kind of got me digital. So that when folks do network with you, when they do look and see who you are, there's something there. It could be crazy simple, but it's there. And it's already there. So when you do decide to change it, you have that presence. You can update your brand. You can update your pictures. You can level up monthly if you want. But in the day, you are taking all of this serious and the folks around you, when they see this shit, they start taking you serious. I was waiting tables, saving my tips, investing in Asia, y'all. I was serving you a damn iced tea at the Cheesecake Factory, taking that tip and sending that to abroad to pay my rent on an office space in the Philippine Islands. We had a party at the Cheesecake Factory. You know what? I might make 100, 200 bucks tips for that. I'd run my black ass to Western Union and send that. That 100, 200 could pay my payroll for the week, maybe. True talk. True. And then once you got this stuff figured out, folks will take you more seriously. They will start seeing what you're doing. And in order for you to do a website, you got to kind of think and it puts you in a different frame of mind. You need to have a name. You need to make about a logo. You need to think about what's my brand going to be. You need to think about what tab is I going to have. You have to think about it. And whatever you're doing at your job, you can do for your business, usually. If you're not going to do that, you can have a silo. You can be working, but your website is about the book that you want to write or the class you want to teach or the products you want to sell. But it makes you think because when you travel abroad, remember, you got 50 to 100 times earnings, boo. You and your money are worth more. That's a blessing, not a curse. The next thing you know what you're ready for? I got that. I got it all figured out. I got my ticket. Fuck y'all. I'm out. Deuces. You just do it. Go. Save money. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. But whatever it is, you, you're at six months now. You got your ticket, right? You were all ready. Now you just got to do it. Go. Because you remember, you're not leaving thinking you're going to be. You've already, if, if me, you might want to move in your family's house. Move downstairs. There may be things like that you want to do. But in the day, what happens is you're going to have to eventually make the decision to go ahead and do it. And worst case scenario, you don't leave bad. They cool. You leave with a smile on your face. You leave properly. If you fail or either you go and you finish your book, you come back, you can go back to work. You can open that business again. You can even buy another house. You can get another car. That stuff is material things. And when you change your life, when you get free, 
a lot of those things will not value in the same way that they value before. You won't need that tie anymore. You don't need those suits anymore. You don't need those Kenneth Cole Gucci Prada shoes anymore. You don't need to go buy new socks every week at the discount store. You don't need to worry about that. You need to worry about Wi-Fi. Is your laptop right? You know, what am I going to have for breakfast this morning? You know, things change and you change. So even if you do come back, you won't come back the same person. Oh, hell no, you won't. You'll come back the new and improved you, the independent you, the ready for the world you, baby. That's who's going to come back. It ain't going to be you. Okay. That ain't going to be you. That's not who's coming back. So you need to understand that from the giddy go, that it's not going to be you coming back. And that's what you want. You want this life changing situation. That's what you're trying to go for. Am I correct? Then number 10, you guys, you want to go through a number 10. Once you figure all this stuff out, baby, and everything is great. And you done figured it out. You got on the plane. You are out the plane. You done jumped off the plane. You in the place. You you like, ooh, I got me a thousand dollars in the bank after my tickets and stuff. I can be I got a month. I'ma just be me. And you know what makes it a big, big change for you? Surrender, honey. Immerse yourself into that new lifestyle. That's number 10, baby. Surrender and immerse yourself into the new lifestyle wherever the hell you're going. The whole issue is you're trying to learn the lifestyle. You chose this place and the money's equivalent. You chose it for a reason. Don't come there and be the old you. Let that go. The blessing of being able to travel, the blessing of moving. If you're a kid who was with military dads or business dads or moms, or if you're with an international family and you move a lot because you broke, whatever the hell it is, if you move a lot and you travel a lot, you know that there's an opportunity to reinvent yourself. You can be whoever the hell you want to be. You got the website. You got the marketing. The passport's new, right? Don't make it about who you were. Make it about who you want to be. They call it be, do, have. See who you want to be. Then that tells you what you need to have. And then you do what you need to do. Be someone different. Immerse yourself in that. I don't mean be it. I don't mean you got to color your face black. Don't go too crazy, white folks now. Don't go too far. But I mean immerse, meaning that if you go to certain cultures, there's reasons that culture is beautiful. Enjoy being simple. Maybe you don't need to use Suave every day. Maybe you don't need to use that Gucci perfume every day, even though you can. You know, maybe you enjoy that you can get up in the morning. It's beautiful and just walk and have a coffee and enjoy life. There's no traffic. There's no small. There's no pollution. Enjoy it. Surrender to it and make it to where that's what you want to be. Understand that. Okay. Really take that time. Immerse yourself in the culture. It will change your life. And then you know what, you guys? That's it. Krim Jackson live on the set. This is the, the minimalist, you know, um, CEO podcast. If you guys are looking at this on live on YouTube or Facebook, or if you're looking at this on one of the one of the apps like Stitcher or iTunes or whatever, I'm glad you're here. Cream Antonio live on the set, baby. I can talk real here. And you know what? You're here to the end. If you're new here, you don't know this. But if you're new here, if you stay to the end, we got something special for you. So if you stay to the end, you guys, we want to make sure that you know that we are thinking about you. And check this out, you guys. Um, I want to show this to you real quick. You're asking me the questions you all want to know about it because when it, when, when thing comes down to it, you don't want to be alone. So number 11, you guys, your bonus, the question that you guys have been asking me is all about dating and friendships, baby. Dating and friendships abroad. You know, I'm going to tell you this, you guys. Let me be real with you. It can be a beautiful thing because your dollars, your money, your knowledge, everything goes further. You know, if you are, let me give you a little frank. If you're a, a working in McDonald's, a basic job in the States, and then you save money or you have a book or you're doing something because, you know, you, you got you got you got your own ideas. You sell an Avon on the side or whatever it might be, anything. And you're making a little money. You didn't save. You get your tax return and you got a couple thousand or whatever it is. You're going to go abroad. When you go abroad, maybe in that country, you realize that even McDonald's, people who work there are professionals. They're college degree people in, in, in Asia that work at McDonald's, honey. You don't roll up in there basic. So the person that you date, the friend you make, they're going to be able to level up because abroad you can really enjoy the value of your education, of your hard work. 
because you're abroad. 50 times, 100 times earnings will change your life, baby. And you know what? You can date a better person. You can find better friendships usually. You may have not. Your true friends are going to be back home. Your homies, your, your, your home girls, your road dogs, your, your, your frat buddies. All, those are going to be back home. But these folks here, this is your new life you're building now, right? And this new life you're building is more about the retirement, about the future than it is about today. So you're thinking differently now because now you're not broke. You ain't working every day. You ain't no rush. You can sit and have a drink, enjoy food all day. Not just at night after work, not rushing on the weekends, not getting it in, not hit, hit it and quit it, not, you know, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. It ain't like that. You can really enjoy it. So the opportunities for friendships is really good. Now, let me tell you this, though, the bad side. A lot of you guys, especially white dudes, y'all come out here to the, to the Philippines or Asia or abroad in general, and you want to date these little, you know, young girls, these little young boys, you want to have a good time, and you get mad because you're taken advantage of, and that might be the case. But understand one thing is that it goes both ways. You can come here and you can level up your relationship and you can find someone equally yoked like you. But a lot of y'all dudes, I understand you want to be the man, you want to take care of your girl. And a lot of these girls are looking for somebody to take care of them. If you meet them, that's perfect. So no complaints. But if you come abroad and you're showing off and your value is your, your money, then that's always going to be your value. You did not reinvent yourself. You did not change yourself. If you come, come, I'm this writer. I'm just a singer. If I can sing at a restaurant or a bar on the weekends while I'm there for three weeks or a month and, and make a few hundred you know, dollars or $50 or $25 or free drinks and food, I'm happy. Because you know what? You're not broke no more. You got money in the bank. You cool. You can last a month or two. You're not thinking about that. You got a round trip ticket. You know you can get home so you can really enjoy it and build a life because the relationships you build then they're not going to be built on a hustle they're not going to be built in rush the folks and the folks that you meet that can hang out with you they're probably living the same like you or they work for you or you you know maybe you hired staff or you outsource but in the day you can have some really great relationships i recommend you do that i recommend you guys even though you have money you want to take care of people and you can't get nobody cute back home don't go for the cute young one Get you a good one that you can, she can help you. He can help you grow so that your friendships and your dating abroad can be fantastic. So again, you guys, that has been 10 steps that I would take and a bonus one of how you can quit your job, how you can get free, y'all, how you can get out here because that's what I did over a decade ago. I did it for myself. I quit it. And if you guys listen to this podcast, it's for minimalist CEOs and entrepreneurs and those who want to be and I thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And you guys, thanks so much. And understand you can be free. Success is for everybody. It ain't just for the rich folks, you guys. If you got questions or whatever like that, hit me up. Ask at careerantonio.com. You can hit me up here on Facebook. You can hit me up on, on YouTube. You can hit me up anywhere. Our website's there. They got a pop-up box. You can chat with me as well. So again, you guys, take the dream. Fuck it. Enough is enough, you guys. Whether this is about racism, if this is about liking your boss, this is about working somewhere, if this is about getting free, this is what this podcast is about. You can see the long version of this where I break down each one of those in the crazy, crazy, long, drawn-out detail um, on our YouTube channel or our website. You guys can check that out. YouTube is Cream Jackson here um, on the set. Of course, our website is cremantonio.com. You can see those there. Eventually, you guys, we have a seminar for this. We have an ebook for this. Um, as you guys know, we're coming out with our Outsource Everything ebook now soon, so stay in tune for that. But you guys love you very much. I appreciate it. You guys, get free, man. This is your time. The whole world is at the same place. This is your time. Take the leap. Go get your life you want. And you know what? Get free. Love you, people. Peace out. Hey, you guys, Krim Jackson, you are live on the set, and I'm going to take you around the world with me in my dream as a minimalist CEO. Turning my clients' dreams into reality is what I do, showing that success is truly, truly for everyone. Hey, you guys, I've got new shows weekly. Stay tuned and live your best life. Best life. Best life. Best life. Best life.